So this tutorial is going to talk about Smart Ink and Microsoft Office. When you have Office 2007 or 2012, which is uh, Office 365 now, I believe, and Windows 7 or 8, you have embedded Microsoft Ink options. So that gives me the opportunity to be able to use the embedded ink that is already part of the Microsoft software. What is great about this is that it allows you the opportunity to have the ink travel with your document. So when I start to scroll, the ink will stay with my document much like it would if you were working in a notebook file. So you have different pen tabs and we're going to open up some office applications to have a look at how the pen tab looks a little bit different from when you're using normal smart ink. So we'll leave notebook and we'll start with Word. So let's say this was an activity that I wanted my students to do and I wanted them to put this in ABC order. Probably the best thing for them to do would be to use the Microsoft Ink, which you can see up here at the top and it's a gray tab as opposed to the smart green tab. And then you have a tab at the top embedded in Microsoft that gives me some options here. So I have a felt tip pen or a ballpoint pen and here's where I can choose my color and I can choose my weight similar to how it would be in in uh, Smart Ink. So now over here I would have my students come up to the board and they would begin to do their activity. But what's great about this is my ink is going to travel when I begin to move my page. So I'm going to do that now. If I move my page up and down, this ink is going to stay where it is. And these are essentially little pictures. You can now move these around. But if you were to now save this file, it would save it with the ink embedded. So if you were working with a particular student or a particular student or group was working up at the board, you could have their names right here and that would give you the opportunity to add their names and save it as evidence of learning. Same concept with Microsoft Ink. You can grab a pen here and you can begin to write some text. So let's say you were working on something as a staff and you're collaborating on your budget. This could now be the opportunity for you to all collaborate on a particular document together. Or if you were choosing, uh, you know, if you were teaching an advanced math class or some sort of an accounting class, then you could use Excel. So whatever you would normally use Excel for in a class, you could now use the Microsoft Ink. Where I find it advantageous to switch from the Microsoft Ink to the Smart Ink is the ability to convert to type text. So let's say I needed to add a particular number to a cell. And I'm going to pause because it's being a bit odd. Okay, so my mistake there was I didn't um, close this pens tab before I switched from Microsoft Ink to Smart Ink. So I'm going to go back to my uh, cursor and I'll hit the home button and now I'll be able to switch from Smart to Microsoft Ink. And that was my mistake. I um, didn't realize that that uh, could cause an issue. So now we're just strictly on Smart Ink and we have the opportunity now to grab a pen and to write with our digital ink. But if I wanted to convert this to type text and now insert it into a cell, all I would need to do now would be to tap this and hit my two A's to convert to type text. It asks me to touch where I'd like to insert the text and it'll fly into that cell. So now it will use those cells for the properties that they're meant to be using as you can see that converted that $7,000 uh, $7, which is a really cool use of the digital ink. Lastly we have Microsoft and Microsoft Digital Ink is the same as it is with the other two options where we can take our notes with some digital ink and circle things and highlight things for our students. Whatever we would want our students to be paying attention to on a PowerPoint. And as I walk through my slides, my ink is going to stay on each one of these slides. If I decide I want to now go into slideshow view, I have the option to use Smart's um, 
Smarts toolbar when I'm in presentation mode. So if I click Microsoft Inc. up at the top right and I click Settings, it will launch my Smart Inc. settings and the second tab down is Microsoft Office settings. And so I have checked off that I want the Smart Inc. toolbar for PowerPoint presentation mode. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now I'm going to hit the Slideshow tab and do a slideshow from the beginning. And here over at the side you can see a presentation slide. And if with these dimples here I can move this around to anywhere I need to on my page. And then if I tap on that, this is my Smart Ink menu. So I have a relatively transparent toolbar. I can grab my PowerPoint Ink tools just like if I was out of, of presentation mode. Let's grab those one more time. Hit the, oh, hit the drop down menu. There we go. Grab my tools. I'm going to use a felt tip pen. And then I can go back to finding, you know, additional PowerPoint menus. I can go to the next slide if I need to from here. I can also bring in a really big pointer wherever I drop it. So if I want to have something a little more highlighted, I can bring in that big green pointer and that will make part of my presentation a little more visible to whoever I'm presenting with. I also have a clear ink function if I'm using some Microsoft ink and I also have a capture button so that will capture this slide into notebook. I also have the ability now to switch between a vertical and a horizontal toolbar. So if I turn off the vertical toolbar this now goes back to being a horizontal toolbar that I can then have at the bottom of my page. So this is a really handy tool for working with Microsoft Office and PowerPoint for a slideshow. When I'm using Smart Ink, I now have the ability to either keep or discard my ink annotations. And if you clip keep, uh, keep them, then your notes are still there. And then you can save all these digital ink items as part of this file. So one thing I did realize was that if you open up a Microsoft PowerPoint in a read-only mode, and so for me that was when I brought it out of my Attachments tab, I wasn't able to use the Smart Slideshow Power Bar. So that was something that was a learning experience for me, was that the Smart Ink PowerPoint presentation tool wasn't available to me when I was using a read-only document. So that was a, a learning experience for me as well. So working with Microsoft Inc. in, in uh, with Notebook and Smart Inc. has become a lot easier now that we have the embedded Microsoft Inc. tools.